it, Ms. Claudia. Congratulations, first and foremost. What a beautiful show. What was the inspiration behind Evolution? Was created by my ideas from before uh, when I was a model. And uh, I started resort wear. And I, I feel that I need to change something. So for each dress that I had before, I developed a nighttime dress, a going out dress, not only a resort wear. And then each piece uh, is a versatile. Like this dress, you okay. sew that, but I dress like this. And then you can change, it can be a skirt. So every dress is like, you, need, you can bring less in your luggage because sometimes we bring too much, right? So that means each dress is versatile in itself and the evolution is in the transition of the dress from day to night. That is very, very interesting. How did you come up with that idea? Um, when you have a child, you need to be fast. <laughs> when you pack, yeah. you, need pack, you need to pack everything straight away. Yeah. So uh, many dresses I have, I start to look in the mirror, I start to change, I start to cut, and I start to redo the dress. And then I say, okay, I think I have to make something that's easy to travel, easy to bring. Airplane, when you go out for the, we fly, come out with the dress if you go with pajamas, something like that. That's a great concept. We noticed also there's a lot of different textures and the different colors. Yeah. You use the entire rainbow. Yeah. Um, what inspired you to use those certain colors? Um, I love the Moroccan colors, the sharp and colors yet bright. So when I saw one of the, the fabrics, that one inspired me. So I said, I will do this collection, something like that. It is very, very vibrant and it gives you life. So when I saw the clothing, I thought every piece looked very comfortable. Yes. And what I also noticed is that it fits every type of woman. Yes. So did you have different body types in mind when you made these dresses? Uh, when I thought about, I said, I want something that fits me, but fits everyone. Because sometimes they say, oh, the dress is very nice on you. Yeah, and then I make me like, I don't like to listen that. I said, no, my dress looks nice on you everyone so i make them try the dress when they try the dress they say oh my gosh that look nice on me too and they have curves they have you know these beautiful bodies i want the woman feel comfortable in their own skin i don't want they change because we don't need to change to be someone else i want the woman feel like i feel comfortable in this design my own skin I feel comfortable in that design. I will change for this design. So I want them to feel better. Uh, they embrace the brand, the design, and then the, the brand embrace their bodies. Like uh, uh, one of my dresses, uh, I have a friend that she never wear a dress. She wore only leg, leggings. And then she said, I cannot fit in your dress. So she came to me and then she's end, end up buying 10 dresses and she never wear dresses because she loves so much and she put in them but oh my gosh look different you but me look more hot this is what i also noticed about your dresses it gave the women empowerment yeah. the way that they walked i know some of these women personally yeah. and when they were on this stage the stage that you gave them they walked differently yeah. with a different manner it looked like a bunch of goddesses were walking yeah. down the runway and you gave them that so thank you so much we also wanted to ask you, last question. You mentioned earlier that you were a model. We all know that when we look at you, you look stunning. You look amazing like goddess yourself. What made you want to transition from a model to a designer? Uh, well, uh, I start uh, when I was a child. I make uh, my dolls uh, clothes. And then when I, I start um, traveling as a model, um, I have to find clothes that I cannot repeat. So I started cutting, customizing, and end up selling clothes for my 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 friends, uh, the model friends, because we need to bring less in the luggage. So I end up making think, oh, okay, I I'm I'm not doing a modeling anymore. So what should I do? I don't want to do bikini. No, everyone does bikini. So one day I was just in my room and then I decided to 
to inspiration. Start to sewing, making, cutting, and then I said I'll make a collection. And then my husband told me, okay. But after he saw it, he said, oh, you really make a collection. And I didn't stop during the quarantine. During the COVID time, I keep doing. I said, I don't know where I'm going to sell these dresses, but I want to make them. And um, also the woman behind the dresses, the, the sewing, the, the dresses, the cutting, yes. And I couldn't leave them during that time of lockdown because I think they need me. And then I feel that I think in this time, I think we need to shoot, help each other. I couldn't let them go. I couldn't let say, no, I will stop my production. I said, no, you continue doing it. We just talk by phone, you do videos. But I continue doing it because I think it's important to never let down someone that also needs you. You are a woman for the women. Because during the pandemic, it was a very hard time for people. They didn't take care of themselves. So you were there to remind them the goddesses that they are. So thank you so much for doing that for all the women. And thank you so much for being here with us tonight. It was a beautiful show. Stay tuned and watch the entire thing. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Yeah.